It's your girl, and you are tuned in to For Grown Women Only. And on this channel, we talk about love, life lessons, and leveling up, leveling up, leveling up. As you guys know, this is my safe space for women. Gentlemen, you're more than welcome to sit in, but the minute you come for my ladies, I come for you because this is a safe space for women, right? So let's talk. This is video two of my transforming your mind, right? We're going to talk about how you level up via the transforming of your mind. Now, people think, oh, you know, if you're leveling up, you know, it's all about the hair, the makeup, the nails, the clothes. And while that is important, it's not the most important thing, right? And when I say level up, I simply mean when a woman uses her God-given femininity, right? Be it through feminine tactics, feminine attitude, or feminine inspiration to get what she wants in life. Now, if somebody has a problem with you being feminine, ladies, tell them to holler at God because you did not decide to be feminine. This is the body that you were born into. And for me, it's straight ludicrous to go against who you are. And believe it or not, in most cases, Femininity is who you are, but it's been stifled, it's been stomped out, it's been neglected because we've been told as women that we can't act this way, that we need to toughen up, we need to be harder, we can't cry, we can't complain. A lot of women, especially black women, have become very masculine and a lot of men often say, oh, you have an attitude or something's wrong with you. Why are you so angry, right? Because we've had to learn how to take that feminine, stuff it down and take on masculine traits. Now, ladies, I'm not saying it's your fault, right? Because a lot has happened in society, especially when it comes to black women. You know, we have not had half the resources that our other counterparts have had. So what happens is, is when we don't have these resources, age old thinking steps in and your mom says, don't depend on a man, get an education, have your own money, uh, make sure you have a steady career, buy your own house, keep your credit straight. Don't you ever depend on a man like that is inbred into your conscious and all of those things that are being told to you while they have their place, if overdone can be very masculine. And so in order to operate in that arena to acquire those things, you have to become masculine, right? So the reason I want to talk about that is because a lot of women are figuring out that being masculine is tiring. It's exhausting. It's not who you are as a woman because you want to tap into your femininity. Something is nudging you and saying, this is not how you should be living, right? So we're going to talk about that because when I say um, we're going to level up via transforming our mind, that's where we're going to start because our mind is like a frequency, right? And in order for us to attract, it's like a magnet, in order for us to attract what we want, we have to tune the dial in our life, right? To attract the very thing that we want. So we know that things that we were doing before was not attracting what we needed, i.e. we were getting low value men, deadbeat men, users, guys who want to suck the life out of you. And it just doesn't work, right? A lot of times as women, we say, why do we keep attracting the same man when we know that we want different? It's because we have not started, you know, adjusting the dial that is our brain, right? Our brain is a magnet and it helps us attract what we want. Our emotions are attached to our brain and our emotions also dictate our action, right? Be, do, have. That is how you attract what you want in this life. But the first thing you got to do is get your mind right and tune yourself in. To that frequency. So I'm going to show you how you level up oop, via your mind. How do you level up via your mind? So the first thing I want you to know, just to constantly renew it. You have to constantly be on your game. You have to constantly be critiquing yourself and not in a harsh way, right? You need to figure out, you know, what's been working for you, what hasn't. And we know that insanity is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. So if our life is going in a certain way, then we need to start leveling up and renewing our mind, right? And we know that when we start leveling up and renewing our mind, a couple of things kind of happen to us. First of all, our environment, right? transforms us, right? We're talking about transforming and renewing our mind. So when you transform something like the outward changes, right? But the outward changes because of an inside job, right? Light can only attract like, right? Um, inner, outer, outer, inner. I will keep saying this. If you want your 
outer world to reflect the things that you want. You have to work on your inner world. And by renewing your mind, you're doing that. So when we talk about transforming, it's the changing of one's outer form to another outward form due to an inward change, right? And when we start thinking about how we transform, right, we have to understand that there is an energetic process. What used to be innate or uh, stagnant becomes alive, right? But the first thing that we need to understand when we start changing things, this is scientific, in order to change one thing into another, you need negative and positive energy. You need adding and subtracting of. You need rearranging the nucleus to alter the charge. Let's say that again. So you need a couple of things. You need negative and positive energy. You need the adding and subtracting of. And then the rearranging of the nucleus, rearranging the inside to alter the charge or how we feel or react to something, right? And let me tell you how things in nature are changed. They are changed through temperature and pressure accelerated reaction or the speeding up of things so our environment around us right when we start to level up something nudges us and right now because we're in this whole COVID-19 thing we've had a moment to sit still and when you start to sit still you begin to notice and when you begin to notice something starts poking at you things can get your attention more easily many of us are numb through life because we're so busy we have so many responsibilities everybody needs us but well, the good thing about this COVID-19 it has forced us to sit still and when you start to sit still you begin to notice and when you notice you examine and as a woman you say God, it feels good to sit home. It feels good to pamper myself. It feels good to be focused on me. It feels good to love my children. It feels good to love my husband. Or it feels good to, you know, maybe focus on dating. It feels good to potentially have a mate. These things feel good, right? But it is in the nudging and the noticing that we realize that we don't want to operate in a certain space, right? So think about it. When we start to change, so we've already been stimulated or stimulated, stimulated. Something is saying something's not right. Something's been getting your attention. And then your environment begins to change you. And you change through one negative and positive energy. Okay, for an example, negative energy. Um, you don't like working all those hours. Negative energy. Um, you don't like, you know, the type of attention you get from men. Negative energy. Um, you've become very overweight. Negative energy. Your face has started breaking out. Um, negative energy. Your clothes don't fit. Negative energy. You just don't feel good about your life. Negative energy. Then positive energy. You like how it feels when you pamper yourself. You like how it feels when you get your hair done. You like how it feels when you have your face and your makeup on. You like how it feels when you can get your nails done. You like how it feels when you can get your feet done. You like how it feels when you can pay attention to yourself. Negative and positive energy. And then the adding and subtracting of. These are things that change involves. So, okay, the adding and subtracting of. You ain't got to get up every day and go to work. The subtracting of. You don't have to sit in traffic all day. The subtracting of. You ain't got to worry about no nagging ass employees. The subtracting of, right? But then you have the adding of. You like being able to go outside and walk. The adding of. You like being able to uh, sit outside in nature. The adding of. You like reading. The adding of. You can focus on your business. The adding of. You can focus on yourself. The adding of. You can start dreaming again. The adding of. You have energy for your vision. The adding of right and then we talk about rearranging the nucleus to alter the charge so if you start rearranging things in your life so you sit down and you say oh that relationship doesn't serve me let's get rid of that that person's not a real friend let's get rid of that but I do like maybe joining a book club I like that or maybe I like being around influential women I like that so you just start rearranging some things to adjust the charge or what you attract right because we're all energy in our life that's how it works, ladies. Leveling up is here. It's always here, right? And I can talk about me personally. I had this happen to me about a year ago where I was just like, this is not working for me. I don't feel good. I don't like this. I, I, I don't like who I've become. This sucks. I'm fat. I'm overweight. I can't focus on myself. I don't like myself. I don't love myself. I'm not attracting the man that I want. I'm not doing what I want. I'm not being who I want to be. I don't feel good, right? 
So what I started to realize was my environment was nudging me saying, girl, get it together, get your life together, get your mind together. Like you have time with the COVID-19 thing going on to rearrange your life. This is a perfect time to change, to metamorphosis. Perfect time. You need to be exercising, drinking water, pampering yourself, taking yourself, getting rid of old ideas, getting rid of old people, things that do not serve you in your life. That is what the level up is about. Because when you start getting rid of the things that don't work for you, then you can start attracting what does work for you, right? So when you start getting rid of behaviors and attitudes that attract low value men, guess what? Now you can keep adding to yourself things that attract high value men, how you think about yourself, how you carry yourself. And let me, let me, let me talk about that as well. Like a lot of women think it's a beauty game when it comes to femininity. And I will tell you, I'm not going to be every man's cup of tea. For some men, I might not be skinny enough. For some men, I might not be thick enough. But listen, there is going to be a man who is attracted to all of this, honey. And that is the attitude you need to have, right? That even if you aren't everybody's cup of tea, you will be somebody's cup of tea. And there is somebody out there who will give you what you want, right? Now, we know that change takes place in an environment when the temperature rises or decreases, when the pressure decreases or increases and when we have the speeding up of things or the accelerated reaction, right? So this is all scientific. It's law. It's principle, right? So ladies, please start leveling up yourself. Go through the process. It does not happen overnight. It doesn't. It never does. But I promise you, if you keep going, you're going to look back two weeks from now, a week from now. Three weeks from now and be like, come on, girl. You notice that your life will start changing. You'll start attracting the things that you want. Things you used to struggle at are no longer a struggle because you change your vibration. You've tuned your frequency to the things that you want in life. It becomes second nature to you. You start getting it without a problem. It's no longer a hassle. Ladies, I promise this stuff works, right? So as I always say, love is life. Life is love. You guys have an awesome evening. Bye.